Hey, Bass Geek here, and today I'm going to talk to you about a subtle, soft plastic swim bait that you guys seem to really love when we did an unboxing video on it. I'm going to show you how to rig it, how to fish it, and hopefully how to catch one or two with it. Geeks, geeks, what is going on? Man, I love and miss you guys every time I'm away. I wish I could do more for you. Wish I could be on the water more. And you guys can help do that, A, through the 100% Watch Squad. Make sure you're watching every video. B, if you see a video you like, hit that thanks button down there and sponsor the channel. Be a channel sponsor. We will put your profile picture and name at the end with everyone else of every single month of Bass Geek boxes that we do and we give away. All that being said, let's talk about this cool little swim bait from Big Daddy Baits. That's right, Big Daddy Baits, you guys seen this in an unboxing and you seem to really like it. It seemed to get more comments than any other bait in that unboxing. Now this is one of my favorite colors here. You can see salt and pepper, but it comes in a ton of different colors. Let me show you just a couple that he sent me. This is pure, of course, can't go wrong with pure white. And this is Magoo. It looks like a, almost like a sexy shad color. I don't know if it is or not, but that is a really cool looking color right there. I guarantee the smallmouth will eat that lot. So one of the cool things about this little swim bait, number one is the design. I love the flat top of it. Look at that little belly. Great looking, very soft little swim bait. Killer looking little tail. Good color. This is one of my favorite colors right here. Great pissed off eyes. I love it. But one of the best things about this is the ability to put these jig heads inside the bait. And as you can tell, he makes a host of different sizes. Three all hooks. I believe these are the one quarters, maybe one eighths, but let's take one out and put one in. So here's how simple it is to rig it. You're gonna push the head all the way to the front, okay? And the first thing is you're gonna make sure that head pops out, see it? Now it'll kinda go, wanna go back in. Then you spread this open, just roll it forward. So you can get your hook in there and just roll it forward a little bit. And you'll come out the dead center. There you have it. Now what I like to do is I just grab the head and pinch. And you can see that really makes that head or that eye pop out of there. And there you have it. Check that out. Now, let me show you what I tied on. And of course, guys, it is no surprise the knot that I'm going to be tying the Pizzatine, or you can easily make it into a San Diego jam knot. Bring it up, loop it seven times, go through the top loop, cinch it, but not all the way. Wet it, make sure you wet it all the way down, pull it down, it's tight. And of course, snip that tag in. Let's talk about rod reel line setup, guys, again. This is one of my favorite rods. They are re-gearing it though. This is the Tactical Elite. They do not have these in stock. They are, they will be out with the new ones very shortly. This is a 7.3 medium fast action. And uh, guys, I put 10 pound test K9 Pro 100 fluorocarbon on here. And this has got a Hakai. Now you can, and probably most of you probably will throw this on a spinning setup. I do go with a six two to one, however. Oh, and by the way, as far as the rod goes, I will put a comparable rod until the new ones come out. I will make sure I have a good rod in the description from TFO for you. Now, if I was gonna throw it on a spinning combo, 
this would sure be the spinning combo that I throw it on the professional. That'll probably be the same series that I point you to other than the tactical elite series. This is a great bang for the buck rod. Now, I would absolutely, again, throw it on a medium fast action. This is a seven foot. And on this one, I will throw eight. You can get away with 10 on this one too, but I like eight pound test. And of course, I'm gonna have my canine braid, 10 to 20 pound. I probably have 20 pound on here right now because it's so daggone thin, I can get away with it. And the leader is going to be eight pound pro 100 from K9. So the pro 100 is the 100% fluorocarbon. That is what you want for this setup. And that is, as you can tell, a battle tested Mach 1 loose. Is there ever a wrong place to throw a finesse swim bait? I don't think so. This is an incredible place to throw it because it is 10 foot clear. You can see, I mean, you can see the rocks in 10 foot, so it's probably clearer than that. And this is a channel swing bank. So a great staging point for bass that are coming and going from places like that over there, which is a spawning pocket. That's also another great spot is that nice long point that drops off to a little road bed out here. Again, over brush piles, over lay downs, over rock piles, slowly contouring banks. There's never a wrong place to throw a swim bait, in my opinion. This is one of my favorite places to throw it. I'll get in tight to the bank and I will very slowly reel it down this bank. Now, one of the things that I love to do in clear water, especially in the spawn, pre-spawn, when they want to be up shallow, when they want to be up shallow, pay very close attention to where, when you put your sunglasses on, the water, you how deep the water is. So if you're seeing 10 feet deep, start fishing 10 to 15. Put your boat or your cast, if you can, in that 10 to 15. So right here, I'm gonna show you how steep these banks are where I live, about right here. And so we are still counting as 20 foot deep, but I mean, I can literally jump to the bank over here if you see what I'm saying. So I'll let it drop to the bottom and then I'll just slow roll this. Again, a six two, most of your spinning rods now are, you know, fives or sixes. And I'll just slow roll this. You want it to tick the bottom every once in a while. If it's not ticking the bottom, then slow down. If it is, speed up just a little bit. Slow rolling it back to us. Now, let's talk about, and I mean, that's it. That's retrieve. Sometimes you can actually stop it, let it sink. Don't let it sit for very long. When do you see shad just sitting? They don't. Shad never stop moving. So that's the thing you want. Even a dying shad is trying its best to move most of the time until it's dead. Let's talk about the bite. The bite is going to come up and you're going to feel them go dunk. Do not swing. Ooh. Until you feel weight. And that's that was perfect. I was getting hung right there, but I felt weight. That's the key. Do not swing until you feel the fish, till you feel the weight of the fish. That's a huge key with fish in a swim bait. Keep reeling because a lot of times they'll come up and they'll just plow it from the side. And when they hit it from the side like that, they're just trying to stun it or kill it. Okay. Once you feel them hit it, side set. Side set, rod tip down, and you fight them, you boat hop them in. If it's a small hook, you might fight them a little bit right at the side of the boat, but try to keep that rod tip into the water when you're fighting them, okay? So that they don't come up and jump out of the water. 90% of the time, that's when you lose your fish. Get them to, get them in the boat. Get your net or get down there and get a hold of them. It's really the only way to do it. Fighting these fish, don't let them jump out there. Don't set up because they're gonna to wanna to come up and jump. 
And it's, it's still, even with a finesse bait, it's still a lot of plastic and a lot of weight to get shaking around there. That's about it, guys. Make sure you go check out Big Daddy Baits, man. He makes a ton of good stuff. If you didn't see that unboxing, I'll make sure I link it up here somewhere, whichever side the links go. But this is a killer little bait. It'd be great on an A-Rig. It's a great little finesse swim bait. It will catch you a ton of fish. And I love the different ways that you can rig it. Like I said, make sure you go check out Big Daddy Baits. That little bad boy right there is incredible. Now, as always, questions and comments in the comments section below. You guys know I love to talk about fishing with you. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell. 100% Watch Squad, baby. You guys are the best. Join that 100% Watch Squad. It helps us get the algorithm and grow the channel. And as always, for all you geeks, you guys rock.